Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about this huge new security vulnerability with Android that could very well be impacting your VPN anonymity on Android. There seems to be some kind of connectivity check that runs natively in the Android operating system done by Google. This uh, news is kind of breaking everywhere. Uh, apparently Mulvad did some research, good for them, to find out that there is some native connectivity checks outside of the VPN tunnel that could de-anonymize users. Apparently, this could allow a threat actor to derive information beyond merely the fact that the Android device is connected, such as the usage location, if combined with data such as Wi-Fi access point locations. So apparently Google says it is working as intended though, which kind of sucks. Apparently it would require a sophisticated actor to use connectivity checks against someone using an Android phone. Most of our users are probably unlikely consider it a significant risk. Are probably unlikely, uh, this article sucks. So overall, whatever the reason behind it is that Basically, Android is somehow leaking some information even when connected to a VPN. And now we're gonna discuss how can you fix this? Well, in my opinion, there's pretty much two solutions or maybe one if you wanna do both for the best of both worlds. One solution is to use Graphene OS. Graphene OS is probably the best and secure operating system for mobile phones. The only downside is it's available only for Google Pixel devices, ironically. I guess other manufacturers like Samsung and those kind of things restrict Graphene OS from being installed. So Graphene OS is an answer because with Graphene OS, they do better security and can disable these connectivity checks that will prevent the issue from happening. When you connect to a VPN, it will stay on and there will be no leakage. So Graphene OS is definitely an option. I've made a couple videos on Graphene OS on the channel. I did a video where I myself installed it with no prior knowledge, uh, doing the whole process. It's around uh, 20 minutes or so. You could check that out on the channel. I also made a video with my discussion about Graphene OS, how I feel about the operating system overall, and if I regret it installing it on my Pixel 6a. Now that said, Graphene OS does have some limitations um, for people who like some convenient features. You know, for the most part, you can install any app you want in there and stuff like that. But for example, one notice, one problem I've noticed with it is it doesn't have very good voice to text capability uh, for privacy reasons. So there are gonna be some things right there that you really can't fix too much on Graphene OS just because it's such a private operating system, but it, it is a solution to the problem at hand. Another solution is to use a VPN router. When you're using a VPN outside of uh, connecting a VPN on the phone, I do believe it would fix this problem since your internet on the phone is kind of enclosed in the VPN tunnel outside on the router, broadcasting that VPN router Wi-Fi. Now, I've actually just been covering some videos about this. TorGuard has a cloud VPN and router bundle. And they also have a website called Private Router where you could get pre-flashed open WRT routers. The good thing about this with TorGuard, the cloud VPN plus router, is that I actually have a promo code for it. Spark Cloud gives you around 15% off. It's gonna be around $140 a year, year after year, but you do get a router included and cloud VPN access. The cloud VPN access is TorGuard's basically their own kind of wire guard configuration they give to you. Um, you pretty much can make your own wire guard um, networking, gives you access to port forwarding, all sorts of firewall configurations. You're using your own wire guard IP, and this is good for streaming as well. And you could even just use the wire guard application on any of your devices and connect to your own little wire guard network. It's really good also for remoting in, remote access VPN, um, tons of things for power users too. So that's really nice to see. With the router there, you connect to it on your phone um, or your computer. And like I said, it will fix those connectivity check issues since you're always just gonna be connected to VPN all the time. The good thing is this router um, bundle and the cloud VPN access that powers the wire guard, super fast, really good data centers. And I've been testing it out and very pleased with it. So that's definitely a solution. Or if you wanna go the hard route, you can even do your own VPN router, pre-flash it and stuff like that. This is just the easy route. Since the routers that Toro does sell are pre-flash with OpenWRT, which is completely open source. And it even has Docker pre-configured. So if you're someone who likes self-hosting, you can play around with Docker on there um, and get off to the races. 
so guys anyways that's my thoughts on this one that's the solution if you're interested either use graphene os check out the router bundle from torguard that will help you or use both graphene os and a vpn router is probably one of the most secure and anonymous ways to go about your life nowadays and that should be pretty good anyways guys thanks for your support ahead of time use my promo code if you're interested in torguard's router bundle spark cloud 50 off and i'll see you again in the next video very soon